What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have our last three boxes from the Abyss Rising case. Can't wait to see what are in these boxes. First off, of course, got this from StrikesOnline.com, link in the description, we'll check them out, and let's get into these boxes. Hope we get something really awesome. So far, this case has been awesome, I mean, no other words for it. Um, first case ever got of, you know, a main set, not, you know, like tins or anything. And, yeah, I mean, it's it's been pretty cool. Of course, I've been uh, slowly adding stuff on eBay. I'm mainly, you know, selling through, like, YouTube and stuff when you guys contact me. Uh, because I want to give you guys kind of, like, first shot at the stuff, too. Like I said, I'm mainly having to sell to get my money back, but I might trade here in there, too. Let's see what's in these packs. Right, we have Justice of Prophecy, and uh, right at the beginning, Giant Soldier of Steel as our secret rare. Not bad. I like this card. I think it's freaking awesome. Man, secret rare on the first one. That's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Let's see. Separate our cards. There we go. Let's get going. So this video went not too terribly long for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, case opening, too. I uh, got Caesar and Spellbook of Fate. Already. Dang, we're going... <laughs> Let's get a hollow out of every pack. That's pretty awesome. I have a few of these already. I got an ultimate one, I think. A couple ultimate ones. So, yeah, if anyone's looking for that card, we got it. Oh, picked up two packs. There we go. All right, come on. Another hollow. Let's have every pack in this box be a hollow. Uh, Omnitaurus and... Ah, <laughs> we had to end the hollow streak. Not bad, though. It had to do that eventually, I guess. Oh man, that'd be freaking amazing if you had an actual box where every pack had a hollow. <laughs> and then you wake up from that dream. Uh, Mermel Abyssmander. Let's see. Uh, Noble Arms. The equip card, like I said, not even going to attempt to pronounce that card's name because, yeah, you guys do not want that, trust me. Uh, Advanced Hedry Art and One-Eyed Skill Gainer. God, we have a lot of this guy. He's pretty awesome, though. I like this card. I can't help it. It's, it's a pretty cool card. Not bad. We might have to talk about him like in a review or something. I like the idea of the card. I know there are better ones that require uh, three level four monsters, but I don't know. I think that card's pretty cool still. Remember, well, Abyssmander. Where are all the slushies? We need more slushy cards. We want to have a monster binder full of just slushy cards, right? The awesomeness of slushy, and I'm going to just destroy this pack. There. It's been destroyed now. <laughs> Abyss Spike and, oh cool, uh, Mermel Abyss Lady. That's an awesome Mermel card, too. That's like one of the staple ones. Really awesome. Uh, ultra card. I think we already got both our Ultras. I think I spelled like a fate was an Ultra, yeah. So ultras, Secret, and one Super. Hope we get a Ghost out of this one. Let's see, Spellbook of Eternity, and number 8, Heraldic King Gnome Heritage. An awesome looking number card. Honestly, I don't think I've gotten many of these out of my case. It's kind of odd. Maybe it's a little bit harder to get this card. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. I mean, it's a number card. You want that. Like I said, uh, next set, I think that card's actually be pretty awesome. Because uh, we're going to get more of the, the Heraldic Beast cards. I think they kept that name, too, in English. Let's see. Emperor Prophecy and... Oh, 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 there we go. Number C32, Shark Vice, or Shark Drake Vice. There's the Ghost Rare. Like I said, hope we get a Ghost Rare. <laughs> Whoa. That looks awesome. Looks really cool. Man. It's freaking awesome looking. There we go. We got a Ghost Rare out of our case. I was hoping I would at least get one Ghost Rare. Not bad at all. It's like all the good cards on the right side of this box. Shore Knight. Alright. Let's see, I think we'll be getting Cosmo Blazer on Friday, too, so... Which will be tomorrow when you guys see this video. So I hope you guys are really excited about that, too. Let's see, Snow Dust Giant. 
I'm really excited about Cosmo Blazer. I'm ready for that to come out in English. I want that Elemental Lord as well. The Fire Elemental Lord. It's like a Ring of Destruction card. It's pretty cool. Love those Fire HB monsters. Emperor, yeah, Emperor of Prophecy. Got tongue tied. Sorry about that. I forgot how to talk. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hopefully, you know the Forbidden Dress. <laughs> Uh, Spillbook, Star Hall, and see no hollow. I was really hoping since I said uh, uh, Forbidden Dress that that's what that card would be because I thought it was a spell card. I was like, oh, maybe. Thought maybe I called it again. Oh, we have something. But old Chavez and Gelato, and oh, this looks awesome. Number nine, Dyson Sphere. Oh man. I have a Japanese one too that's like this, or it's an ultimate. It looks so awesome. I'm I'm glad I got an ultimate one that's in English. Dang, that's pretty cool looking. Dyson Sphere is like one of the coolest looking numbers. Probably one of the hardest ones to summon too. Like I said, when Duel's Pack Kaito, if it ever comes out in English, it'll be a lot easier for us to summon it. Same with the... Uh, oh, I can't think of it. The Photon Dragon, the XC one. I can't think of its name right now. Mermel of Visturge. You guys, of course, I'm sure will be yelling at me in the comments on what card it is. Oh, what is its name? Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That's it. You got Abyss Mind. Uh, yeah, Abyss Rising cards on the mind. Uh, Spellbook of Eternity and Memory of an Adversary. I still like this card. I don't know. Freaking awesome. Also, we got an ultimate and a ghost out of a box. That's. I don't think that usually happens. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not bad. Usually one or the other. Just thought about that. Maybe we'll also have another secret in here, maybe? I don't know. Let's hope so. Mermel Bespike. Let's see. What else? We got a Bistrom. Also, yeah, missed me if you want to buy any of these cards or trade or whatever. I'll probably be kind of slow putting stuff on eBay because it's kind of a pain. Mind Pollutant and Abyss Dweller. There we go. That's another super rare card. Abyss Dweller is an awesome looking card too. I like the art. Awesomeness. Alright, we have four more packs, I think. As my voice gets higher. <laughs> my voice randomly does that sometimes. Uh, gotta go the Risen. One of the weirdest Yu-Gi-Oh card names ever, and it keeps getting new cards. I like that card, though. Uh, Popcorn. It's too bad uh, Gagago the Risen isn't like, you know, where it just requires two level four monsters. I know it would be pretty much uh, too powerful, but man, it would be awesome. Because then everyone would have to use it. Slushy! There you are. <laughs> We've only got one slushy so far out of this box that I can think of. That's just that's just wrong. We've just got like five slushies out of the box. What is Konami thinking? There we go. Let's say those cards didn't want to come out of the pack, so maybe that's a good sign. Mermel Abyss Good and Abyss Squall. Well there was a hollow in there. Not bad. Never can complain about getting a hollow. Alright, it's one box out of the way. Second box for this video. I hope to get a uh, another Abyss Megalo. Just so uh, I can't actually complete that Mermel deck that you guys are wanting to see. So I only have one so far. And also an Elemental Lord would be good too, because I think I need one of those for the dark. Alright, Mind Pollutant. Aw, oh, no secret at the beginning. <laughs> that last pack, it was. There's a secret right there. Alright. I uh, gotta give the Risen. Let's see what else we're gonna be getting from this box. 
uh, Noble Arms, and Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy. There you go. I don't know how many of these I have now. It's an awesome card, though. Like I said, I'm a Texan, so i got to keep at least one. It's law. <laughs> we finally have a Texas Yu-Gi-Oh card, right? Not counting quick draw things on. Let's see, what else we got? Shore Knight as our rear. I like how they're giving us these different knight cards for like that. There's even going to be, of course, a fire one and possibly a blazer. Uh, Mermel Abyss Good. So many rare cards. If you guys need any rare cards from this set, or commons for that matter, I got them. They're for trade, sell, whatever. Let's see. Spellbook Star Hall. I wish they'd give us a few more heroic cards. I would like it if heroics could actually be like a meta deck. They're really cool. I don't know if there are any more than Cosmo Blazer. I don't think they keep going with the archetype, which is kind of sad. Because I like heroics. Uh, Noble Arms. I hope, too, our next neat preview card is another one of the Noble Knight cards. Although, I hope it's an XC card. Instead of being another, like, effect monster or something. Spellbook of Eternity and Medulce Queen Teramisu. That's a really awesome card, too. Medulce is, I mean, that's what makes Medulce freaking broken. Or one of the many things. I mean, Medulce Ticket, which I'm still really surprised that's a common. That's a good thing, though, for Medulce players. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. I'm glad. I'm just kind of surprised Konami didn't try to raise the rarity like they usually do. Uh, Emperor uh, Prophecy. I've been tempted to make Medulce deck, but I don't know. I just don't really like that art type too much. Nothing against anyone that does. Just, you know, not really my type of cards. Uh, Emperor of Prophecy and a Noble Knight, Black Lunsalen, I think it's how it's pronounced. I don't know. I'm sure I've been mispronouncing it the whole time. Still an awesome card. I like how his eyes are red. And when the holographic hits it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, sneak Preview card, not a bad one. I don't know if we're ever going to get another Sneak Preview card that's like as broken as Tengu was. Hopefully we do, though. Abyss Strom. Oh, don't put it in the hollow pile. Put it in the rare pile. Alright. On the Taurus. Alright, and we'll... There, start our second common pile. That way we don't have... Too many commons stacked up in the fall. Alright, so like of Eternity and Heroic Champion uh, Kusanagi. I think that one's how that's pronounced. An awesome looking heroic card. I really like this one. This one that requires three monsters, uh, three warrior monsters. So yeah, I think it's a really awesome card. I want to try it out in maybe like a six samurai deck or heroes or something. I don't know. I could probably use it in my Noble Knight deck that I made. I wish Gem Knights sometimes were actually warrior monsters. That way I could use it like in that, because I really like Gem Knights. Uh, Emperor uh, Prophecy. Although being rock types, they have a lot of great stuff too they can use. Oh, we have an ultimate. Popcorn and that wacky alchemy. <laughs> some of the names that come up with some of these cards. I really like this card, though, uh, at least the artwork. Uh, the card itself is kind of eh, but the artwork is pretty amazing. So, that's pretty cool. And Popcorn's really awesome card, too. It's underrated. Let me understand that card is pretty good for just being a rare. Can't wait to make a deck around it. Uh, Gaga Caesar. I uh, got the Risen. I always think it's a hollow card. It's one of those kind of, you know, it's like a troll card. Sort of like how the uh, uh, Butterfly one was that way, and then uh, the Fairy King one that was in the last pack was that way. We have two rares on this one that are XCs. So it kind of throws you off, but they're still not bad. Omnitaurus and Bubble Bringer. We have a super rare. Well, pretty cool looking card. I really like the art. 
I know I say that a lot, but I really do. You know, I'm, a lot of people don't appreciate the art on some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and those are pretty awesome. I think they're getting a lot better with their artwork, in my opinion. Mermel, Abyss Spike, and Abyss Squall. Back-to-back -back hollows. Abyss Squall's a pretty awesome card. Not bad. Slushy, the awesomeness of Slushy, and Spellbook of Fate. <laughs> we already had a few of these. I hope someone out there really needs Spellbooks of Fate. I wonder how many Slushies we're going to have at all. We're going to have to have that... We're going to have a, a video after this that's going to recap all the hollows we got, so we might also have to show all the different slushies, too. Uh, Mermel Misturge. I don't think we got our secret yet. Hopefully it's here, <laughs> and hopefully it's awesome. I'm sure it will be. Uh, Advanced Hedry Art. And two packs. Will we get our secret? I think that's all we're missing. I think we got, yeah, we got our ultras, I think. Yeah. So come on, secret rare, be here. Let's notice giant and, oh, there you are. I was really hoping I'd get one of these out of my case. Morning, Glossia, the elemental lord. Oh, there it is. It's kind of, it's so shiny, it's making my camera not want to focus. Yeah, Morning Glossia. I was really hoping. Dang. Whew, I'm glad I got one. I was thinking, man, out of a whole case, you aren't going to get one. And I got one. You don't know how relieved I am. Now, if we can just get one more Abyss Megala, I think I'll have everything for our Mermel deck for you guys. So let's really hope our other box has one. Noble Arms. And we'll have, you know, like the meta version of Mermels. I mean, you can, of course, build a cheaper version. But I wanted to try to build the high dollar one if I could. If at all possible. Let's see. Will we get everything we need out of our last box? I'm glad I got a morning glacier, though, because dang. I was wondering. I was like, dang, out of the whole case, I'm not going to get one. Got one. I like the Elemental Lords. I think they're awesome. Papa Corn and Gaga Cowboy. That's a good start right there. I love this card. I'm really surprised, too. It's only, like, $10 or something like that. Last time I checked, I don't know. It might... Hopefully the price goes up. I figured it would be closer to, like, $30 or something like that. Because I think it's a pretty cool one. Mendolt Chain, Missing Gelato, and... Oh, there we go. Another Morning Glossia. <laughs> Not only will I get one, I'll get two. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Oh, man. We got two of them. Not an Abyss Megalo like we really needed, but I am definitely not going to complain about this card. This one's freaking amazing. Now I can probably keep one for myself. I won't feel as bad since I got at least two out of this. Oh, man. Maybe this will be a box of two secret rares. I don't think I've ever gotten a box of two secret rares. I hear people that have done it, so I guess it's not out of the question. Justice of Prophecy and Madolche Queen Tiramisu. An awesome Madolche card. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy I got the Madolche. Madolche. <laughs> I have that in the brain now. Elemental Lord. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Although I'm glad I got the Madolche card. A lot of people want those Madolches. Mermel Abyss Good. So I gotta say, you know. Maybe it's a little early to say, but I think our case has been freaking amazing. And hopefully it will continue to be amazing, so we still have some packs. Let's see, uh, Advanced Hedry Art. Let's see, I'm going to destroy this pack. Seems like I do that with one pack out of every box. I'm Mermel Abyss Mander. Another. Let's see, hopefully we'll be getting something awesome from this pack because it's a paint open. Let's see, Noble Arms. Ah, oh, there should have been a hollow in that since that was such a paint open. Our 
that last box. It has been a lot of packs. <laughs> uh, let's see, got to go the Risen. And this is like a huge workout. Especially on my camera. I had to like move the videos over and stuff. I had to keep taking breaks in between opening the boxes and everything. Uh, Mind Pollutant and Madolce Palooza. Yeah, I had, to, I had to keep taking breaks though because my memory card is not big enough for all these videos. I'm not that out of shape. I know you guys were thinking that. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got an awesome card, I think. Shore Knight and Empress of Prophecy. That's an awesome looking ultimate card. You gotta love the ultimates. Like I said, they're, they seem a little bit better now. Like, they're not so easy to bend, or it seems better to me. Man, you can't really tell the picture, though, on that card, so that's kind of unfortunate. Sometimes ultimates are really cool, and then sometimes, I don't know, it kind of seems like it takes away a lot from the picture. Like, you can't tell what in the world the picture is supposed to be. The production spirit looks freaking amazing. Omnitaurus. All dim rares. There's a lot of awesome rares and cards on this set, so... I'll be going through all of those, of course, later on this video. Uh, Abyss Drum, or actually, not in video, because that would take forever. But when the video's done, I'm going to be going through all these comments and rares. We got a lot. Let's see. Slushy, there you go. And Abyss Dweller. Slushy always brings us an awesome holo card with him. Telling you, we just need a monster binder just full of slushy. One of the weirdest cards. It reminds me of the Pokemon Quagsire. Popcorn. One of the most awesome puns ever. We have so many packs everywhere. It's gonna get lost in card packs. Uh, let's see, Emperor of Prophecy and Spellbook of Fate. Man, we've got a lot of that card. <laughs> I really hope it's good for prophecies. I don't know. Pretty awesome, though. I like the art. Abyss Drum. I'm trying to think, do we have another Ultra or Super or what? Omnitaurus? I don't know. Hopefully another secret. At least all of our boxes came with a secret, so I can't complain. Man Pollutant and Abyss Squall. Not a bad Super. Let's see, I don't know how many packs we got. Like six packs, I think? Remember on this spike? Let's see, Snowdust Giant and Bubble Bringer. I think we got that like on our last pack. Or last box or whatever. Those two holo cards I think were next to each other. That's kinda odd. Let's see, I think we have three packs left. Three or four. Hard to tell. So I don't want to waste time counting when I should be opening. Got a Caesar. Yeah, we got three. Uh, so like Star Hall. And our last two packs. What will we get? Book of Eternity. And our last pack. What will be in it? What will be in this pack? It is Merle Mysterious. Oh, no hollow for the end. Oh well. This ended up being an awesome box. We got the Morning Glossias at the end. I'm really glad. Like I said, I was I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't get any of that card out of the whole case. 
So let's go through our hollows real quick. Bubble bringer and stuff. Let's see. And yeah, I think just about everything's for trade and sell and stuff. Just uh, send me a message. And like I said, we'll have a recap here uh, later today or tomorrow showing all the different cards we got too. So anyway, thanks for watching. And yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this whole case. It was a lot of fun to open. It was really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to do another case, you know, for the next set like Cosmo Blazer or not. We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for supporting me. Uh, I'm going to try to save up some money at uh, some point to uh, get another one of those 100 packs. And we'll do maybe another one of those 100 pack uh, random pack openings. Because I know you guys really enjoyed that before. So we'll see about that. And also be sure to check out my contest I got. We're giving away an Abyss Rising box, which is an amazing uh, contest prize. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for supporting me. And I hope I can have many more awesome videos for you guys in the future. Later, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made. And also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later guys.